now that our new image has been created, the size of our business card, we're going to first create a type of um, background color that's going to be our base to work with. The way we do that is we first select the color. Now we have two boxes over here. One box represents the color of the foreground and one box represents the color of the background. Now we're going to apply the color to our image. We're going to be use the color be using the color of the foreground. So I'm going to um, for my for the business card that I want to create, I want to make it a little bit of a um, kind of a off-white or gray grayish type of background to work with. So I'm going to choose that color. As I double click on the square, this color picker open window opens up and I can choose by by clicking on um, the square or on the color bar I can go ahead and choose which color I want to work with so I'm going to choose a kind of off-white gray I'm gonna hit OK and now we see that that color appears in the foreground box and I'm going to click on my paint bucket which is like a paint paint bucket would just dump a whole bunch of paint on a surface and that's exactly what it's going to do I'm going to take my paint bucket and I'm going to click onto the onto the surface and it's going to create everything that gray color that I had chosen in the in the color picker window. We want to put a little bit more texture into the background so what we're going to, going to do is use our paintbrush tool which is over here and once our paintbrush tool is selected we can go over here and actually choose the type of brush we want to use now we see a whole bunch of different types of textures and imprints from each type of brush. I'm going to use a bit of like a splattering type of mark on fr uh, from the brush. And I'm also going to change my color to create more of a um, bit of a darker orangish yellow. And we see that that color appears here in the box. And now I'm ready to use my paintbrush tool. And we see the splash mark that I chose my the from the brush that I chose. And I'm just going to click around and create some texture to the back of my image each time uh, each mark is one click of the mouse and if I hold down the mouse a little bit longer it creates a darker image and if I move the mouse a little bit and hold it down it's going to create like a smudge mark as if I was painting so I'm just going to click around and this is going to complete the the uh, the paintbrush the the coloring effect for texture but we're going to apply one more effect before we're done um, before we begin to add text and images